That's we, tough out there. It is. We're talking still about dangerous cold. It's starting to ease up a little bit, mm -hmm. even in those spots north and west, even across the Midwest. But still, we're talking below zero temperatures right now. We're talking single digits tomorrow morning. The wind chill is what has improved. Certainly not as bad as it was. It's feeling a little bit more like what the actual thermometer is reading because the winds have died down. Here's a look at what to expect as we go through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning wind chill wise. Now remember we looked at this yesterday about this time and all those numbers were below zero. Double digits below zero in fact. We were talking minus 10, minus 11. Tomorrow, still bitterly cold. You'll still need all of the layers when you head outside, but it's not going to be quite as bad. It'll feel like 6 degrees at 3 a.m. By 5 a.m. it feels like 5, but then as we head into the afternoon, it's actually going to feel a little bit closer to what the thermometer indicates. Highs will be in the low 20s, and that's what it will feel like tomorrow afternoon. So you definitely still need all the layers, but it is slowly beginning to improve. The problem with tomorrow is while today was a full day of sunshine, even with the bitter cold tomorrow, we're watching this system, this weak disturbance. It's a little clipper system that's moving through the Midwest and it's bringing some light snow and snow showers to parts of the Midwest portions of uh, back through Illinois, Indiana, Ohio tonight. For our area, very limited chances to see any snowfall up in the Poconos and even the Lehigh Valley. But if you're in the city, north and west suburbs and down through South Jersey and Delaware, those are the areas that have the best chance to possibly even see a little bit of light accumulation with this. So here's what we're looking at. The morning commute is fine. Around 11 a.m. we start to see a little bit of light snow work its way in south of the city. It may clip the city midday between about 12 and 3. You can see this is very light and it's not a squall where you have this reduced visibility with strong gusty winds. Winds will be light during the course of this event. That'll push southward by about three or four o'clock and clear out in time for the evening commute. So it's really more of a nuisance than anything. But as far as accumulations are concerned, some parts of the area could see a light dusting, maybe a half an inch at most, possibly down across the shore points. We could pick up around an inch, but doesn't look like much. And a lot of that is because it's so cold. It's that light fluffy snow that likes to pile up quickly. So will you need the shovel tomorrow? Not likely. Lehigh Valley in the Pocono, certainly not. North and West suburbs, no. I-95 corridor, no problems. Just a light dusting and maybe a broom if you're down the shore in southern Delaware where some spots could see around an inch. Then the dangerous cold shifts out and milder air takes its place. And it's going to be a huge swing, almost a 50 degree swing in temperatures from the teens today all the way up to 60 degrees by Tuesday. The weekend is dry after that little hit of snow tomorrow and we warm up into the 50s by Monday, 60s on Tuesday. But I know you see that little groundhog poking his head out on Saturday. It is Groundhog Day. It's when Phil gives us his prediction for whether it'll be an early spring or not. And if he sees his shadow six more weeks of winter, that guy loves to see his shadow. <laughs> 103 to 18. Let's hope he says an early spring because the forecast reflects that. But if tradition and history plays into it, I think that guy's going to be seeing his shadow again. Phil. <laughs> Man, Come on, Phil. Talk to Phil. All right. Thanks, Kate. Appreciate <laughs> it.